So today I'm going to show you how I do another treat slash puzzle game to keep Kaylee occupied. She's my toughest one. She complains, she's bored, she doesn't, she wants extra treats, whatever. It, it, I'll tell you, Dobermans are tough. And I said that I would, on this channel, good, bad, and sometimes the ugly, and it is. <laughs> but sometimes you just have to laugh because it's, it's what I signed up for when I got her. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how I do this one, another DIY puzzle slash hunt, scavenge, retreat game. So basically all you have to do is collect paper towel. I need to take this off, but just the actual paper towel holders. and you can cut them up and I'll show you that in a second or you can use toilet paper ones. It's not in as in depth and as long of a challenge puzzle game as the boxes and I'll show you that too, but it works. So here we go. Like I said, I hold them in a bag, I collect them and uh, so you can do paper towel holder or toilet paper and then you find a thin, this one might be too thick, but if you have a smaller dog and you want to do a small one or even just to start out, you take the rag, you slide it through, I don't want to get a lot of that off, I don't need to eat that. Okay, and you slide it through like that and then you take your treat. I use freeze-dried liver because I like it because I can break it up to little tiny pieces if I want. So, you just start sticking them down into the folds. Sometimes it helps to break them up a little bit ahead of time and you can kind of go faster. <clears throat> so, inside if it, you can see this inside each one of the little folds you can shove them down as far as you want and then in the folds of the towel or the wash rag or whatever you're using piece of material I just shove them all in there You can do as many as you want or as few. So that is one way and they will tear this up. So you kind of want to watch them in the beginning and make sure that they're not eating this uh, cardboard. But I don't know, I haven't had any problems with my dogs eating it. So um, I'm sure there are dogs out there that will. Um, so you just want to watch that and then as they shred it, then they start getting the treats or they'll stick their tongue in here and try to get them out. But yeah, they love it. Um, you might have to show them at first, you know, how to do it. Maybe stick a treat like right here so that they know, oh, I gotta get in there further and stuff like that. So there's that one. Now for the bigger ones, what I do is, let's see, I need to get my scissors. All right, so if you don't have enough of your uh, toilet paper ones, then I just cut them. You can cut them as big as you want. Peel that off. Come on in, Kaylee. Hello. You want to say hello, my friend? Hi. Yeah, making treats, making little puzzles for you. Okay, so I'll take, this is actually an old pillowcase. So 
to just gather it, shove it through. And this is why you want to have something that is not so thick because it makes it difficult to get it all the way through. And sometimes it may be easier to push, take like a pin or a butter knife and help shove that through too. That'll help. So I take this one and I put it in the middle. Make sure you can see that. And then I take these that I cut. This one I didn't do such a good job on. But <clears throat> I will stick these through. Like this. And I will leave an area that's kind of open like this. I'm gonna gather it out a little bit. So you got some on the end, an area here, here. If, even if you wanted, you could cut that too. So there's another way to get in there. Um, and then I do one more on this side. And then pull it through. Open it up. Make a little pouch. So, as you can see, okay, so you can shove them all the way down here if you want, because if they're gonna tear this up anyway, they're gonna, what's gonna make them wanna tear this up is they can smell the treats in there. So, I'm going to start filling in, kind of like how we did the last time, just shoving them in the holes way down in there. You know, they don't have to be very big pieces, just small ones. And like I said before, inside each one of the little crevices, you can put as many or as little as you want for treats in there. Okay, so when you're done with that, you go and you give it to them. I will show you how that works. Okay, girls, are you ready? Eve's teeth hurt her a lot because she's getting up there in age, so um, she may not do it. But Haley loves it. Oh, let go, let go. She knows what to do. If you want to try it. Oh, look at She might do it today. That's good.
Oh my, I missed it. She tore that thing off already. See how she's tearing it? Maggie, you're gonna have to wait, girl. And she gets right into that. This is, this is what they need. It's hunting and stimulating their mind and So good for them. Let's go check out Eve here. Hi, I'm sorry. Good job, Evie. It out. I just tore it. Okay. Good job. Hi. Good job, Mana. Maggie, you're going to have to wait. gotten both down or the small pieces off and now she's just going through the tough part all right yeah she hasn't torn any pieces off she just rips it so anyway they like it I have to give Maggie one here when she gets in and then next video I'll show another treat puzzle thing I don't even know what you call them but whatever it stimulates their mind and keeps them busy and it stops the nagging <laughs>